All right, we are back in the booth and we're gonna paint a swim bait today. We are gonna do one of these canine knockoff clashes and I've already put a white base coat on it. And what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna put a little bit of silver white pearl on the gills in the face. So we got our fan running, which I'm gonna have to hold these because of the way these baits are so big, I can't put them in my lure holder. clean that out shut the fan off all right so we got that silver put on and i actually did get it in the, the lure holder it makes it a lot easier to especially show for the video so now what we're going to do is we're going to put a aqua turquoise on the top and i'm going to bring it down a little bit on the sides here so we've already shaken this up pretty good Get some in the gun. Get this turned up a little bit. And we'll get it on this top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it kind of in a citrus shad pattern. So that's what we're aiming for here today. We're going to come down. We're not going to put it on the gill plate. Just going to darken it up.
put them around the eyes. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the gun out and we'll be right back. All right, so we've got that dry and we got it on. And what we're gonna come with next is I'm gonna use some SMS Clear Aqua and I'm just gonna do just the top. So I've already shaken it up. And I'll get a little bit out. Just want to do a little bit on the top. That just kind of darkened the top just a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. should do it so I'm gonna clean the gun out and we'll dry this off and we'll get to our scale pattern all right so we have this dry and you can see the top is a little bit darker of an aqua and then you come down into like a turquoise we're kind of just gonna do a kind of an alternative citrus shad pattern so we'll take this out set this down here we're going to go ahead and get our sponge out. I'm going to lay our bait on it. Good thing about this, it's flat. This is a this will be a good one to to do this with. So what we're going to do is we're just going to lay it, line them up, and then crunch the sponge where it'll get up under and hold our pattern for us. And the only place that I'm gonna do the scaling is, is actually gonna be just where I brought that aqua down. I'm gonna stop it right about there. And the first color I'm gonna hit it with is gonna be white. So we're gonna shake that up and go ahead and get this together. You don't want a ton of overspray coming off of this. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're only coming down not even halfway. So and we don't want to get it on the gill. I'm 
We're gonna do the same on this side. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll let that sit for a minute. We'll go ahead and heat set this. And then what we're gonna do with my other gun, we're gonna come back in with some yellow. And what we'll do is we'll just do it in our other gun. We'll leave this white in for the other side. Go ahead and get some yellow in the gun. Set it down, good, and it's good to go. And we're gonna do the same thing here. We're not gonna come down, but just a little bit on this. Okay. So we'll let that sit for a minute. We'll go ahead and heat set this and I'll be right back. All right, so we've taken the wheel off and you can see it actually has turned out really good. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna flip it over and do the same process. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our white. And we're just gonna come down to we st where we stop the aqua. Heat set that really quick. And then we're gonna change guns again. And we're gonna come back with our yellow just about halfway down. Now we'll heat set that. Set that down. Go ahead and just brace our bait and just take it up. Bait's big. It's a this clash is a huge bait, but it turned out really cool looking. So we'll let that sit for a second. Let me move this back. I'm gonna get my lure holder back out because I wanna paint the bottom of this yellow while I've got it in the brush. So we're gonna put this back in. We'll go ahead and get this locked in. Slide it up. Get these out of our way. And then I'm gonna paint the bottom yellow while I still have some yellow in the gun.
That really turned out good. It has got a killer look. Okay, so we're gonna heat set that and clean the gun out and I'll be right back. All right, so we have that dry and now we're gonna do a little detail work with it. We're gonna take a little modeled and we're gonna put it on this face in white. And put it over the silver, gives it a kind of a really neat look. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our kill dot and we're gonna put it just above the eye Go to the other side. Just go right above the eye. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean our gun back out and I'll be right back and we'll do our fin We'll touch up our shading on our kill dot. All right, so we have that dry. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a little bit of carbon black. And we'll do a little bit of modeled just right here on the top, just a little bit. Put a little bit of a shadow on our kill dot. That really looks good. We'll do the same with this one. And then we'll do a We'll get our Whitmore Farm fin stencil out and we'll put one on it. And what we'll do with this one is we'll just do, we'll just highlight this bigger one. We'll put it on here and just go around the outside of it. Gives it a cool look. We'll do the same on this side. Just gotta make sure we get it in the right place. Put it right off of there. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and heat set that and I'll be back in just a few. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over the top with just a little bit more of this clear aqua and let it run down the scale pattern a little bit. Just one second, let me clean this All right. Now we're gonna come back over this top with some
get a little bit more. going to do that so we'll heat set that and we'll get our eyes out and then we're going to do a trick with the tail that i'm going to show you so we'll be right back all right so we got that heat set and now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the eyes in it comes with a, a set of eyes and i think they'll match it just about perfect they're a, just kind of a black and Silver eye. Go ahead and flip it around here. Go ahead and get them on. These are really nice knockoffs, though. I'll tell you that. They're heavy. They're not. They're not cheaply made like some. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit it with a coat of UVLS, and then we'll, I'll show you a trick I'm gonna try to do with this tail. So let's grab my gun. I've already pre-mixed the UVLS, so I'm just gonna pour it in. And we're just going to get a good wet coat on it. You really see the color start popping out of it now. So we're going to let that dry, and then we'll be right back. All right, so the UVLS is dry, and I thought the camera was on, but it wasn't. So I'm just going to share what I do. I take just regular worm dye. This is chartreuse yellow worm dye, and I just dip the corners of the tail in. I leave some of it clear. Just the tip's kind of yellow. It matches. Um, the thing with these tails is they're very, they're very nice. So they're not really bendable. So I tried to pour them in a little plastic cup and that was a lesson learned. Um, you really want to get a small glass cup where you can dip it. It kind of ate a hole through it. So that wasn't good, but we did get, get it done. It looks really cool looking. So I'll put this together, uh, then I'll go over everything that I did. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over how we did the bait. So what I did first was pretty much what I do on every bait. I, um, I put a white base coat over it. Then we came back over it with, I didn't set it back up, let me find it, here we go. This is a Green Stuff World Aqua Turquoise. And what I did with that, I came across halfway across. I did the top and halfway across on the other side. Then I came back with a SMS Premium Aqua. It's a little bit darker. And I went over the top with it. And then we got our sponge out and did our scale pattern. And... Once I locked it into the sponge, I did a white, I, I painted back over the white where I had turquoise. And then I came back over that with a medium yellow from Golden. 
And then what that does is it gives the aqua outline with the yellow scales. Then, um, well, we did, we painted the face uh, with a silver white pearl. Then we came back over that with white and black and did some modeling with the Anarchy modeling stencil. We used the lure build kill dot stencil to put our kill dot on. We painted the bottom medium yellow all the way across. And what we did with the tail was we just took the tail and we dipped the tips in worm dye and it really matched perfectly. We came back with some black and used the Whitmore Farm fin stencil and put our uh, fin on both sides, put a, a little big one on there this time. So now what we're gonna do is we've, we've already, and, and we also coated it right at the end with UVLS. Eyes already came with it. So kind of a really cool looking bait. I like citrus shed. I've caught a lot in the lake that I live by on it. So let me get the UV resin out. We're not gonna spray 2K clear on this one. I'm gonna do it with resin and I'll be right back. All right, so we are ready to put some UV resin on this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my hook ready. This bait's a little bit bigger, so I had to put it on a little pair of pliers. And I'll get in here on the video where you can see me. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it. Now I can finally use this big brush. It does have a slit for a plastic lip to make it a little bit deeper diving. So I'm not gonna get near that. We're just gonna take our time and, and the colors really start jumping when you start putting this stuff on. So we'll go over this a little bit. Just be careful not to get it in that slot. In case I wanna make this a deep diver, or not such a deep diver, but a diver anyway. And this is gonna be mine. I'll go over the top. That aqua is just a, you know, the regular citrus shad is kind of like a baby blue, but I just love that aqua and I've caught quite a few fish with it, so I'm gonna stick with it. I've got a rubber band here in the middle of my bait, holding it stiff anyway for me. So we'll go to this side. Just be careful not to get it in the, the slot. Go ahead and just get some on it so I can move it around. I mean, the colors actually really turned out great on this. This side done. Tail really turned out good on this too. It um, I mean my putting it in a little plastic Sam's cup wasn't a great idea, but lesson learned. And I'll get me a little glass bowl out of the house for the next one. I'm not gonna do the tail. I will do where I inserted the tail. This tail will never come out. This tail, is, it took me, good Lord, it took me forever to get it on. And 
not going to get it in the joints. Go ahead and put it over where it goes in on the tail. I think my cat must be on the roof of the shop. He's making all kind of racket. want to make sure you just get it smooth so I'm gonna go back over it again this is too much these blanks are these these are expensive blanks for a blank and I just don't want to mess it up because this is gonna be mine so I'm just gonna go over it one more time Make sure everything is covered. Make sure the eyes are done really good. Well, what I'll do, I'll put it in the box, and when it gets out, I'll come show you the final results. All right, we have taken it out of the box, and this is the final product. Turned out pretty good. Got a really cool aqua and yellow color. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I have upcoming videos. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.